Right, here we are for turn seven. And it's lots of monkey domination. Uh, spiders have already grabbed Glaciation for next turn. Um, oh, score is monkeys at 92. Spiders are way back at 77. And they both lost, I think it was Grass, I think it was, last turn off their cards. So they have got blank spaces that they can fill. And let's see. First one is Adaption. And the monkeys are still first uh, in player order. Uh, the monkeys, they're probably going to pick grass because otherwise these guys are all going to go extinct. One would get saved, but the, at least five would go. Monkeys are going to have to pick grass. I don't know what, but the spiders are going to have to pick something else so that they can try and take back some of these spaces to get domination. Uh, regression. What do they need to save? Spiders need to save... Well, monkeys go first. Monkeys go first. They need to save sun, wheat and grubs. And sun, wheat and grubs are all up for regression. Spiders only need to save sun, but the monkeys are definitely in trouble there. They are going to lose at least maybe two things, depending on what the spiders save. So spiders are going to go for that. If the spiders save sun, it benefits the monkeys. If they pick something else, then, you know, eh, it might benefit the monkeys, but a bit. We'll see. Abundance to add something to the earth. There's wheat, grubs, and meat. Hmm. Monkeys are going to want to add meat somewhere because that gets some more points. Uh, well, more points to stay dominant in a hex. Um, but will they really bother? They're already dominant all over the place. They could skip abundance and do something else. Hmm. Now, let's, let's say, for argument's sake, they're going to skip abundance to add something. Because they're already in pretty good shape. But would the spiders add anything? Well, spiders definitely would want to add something up here. Because the spiders can't survive up here in these two tiles because it's grass only. So they would want to add something so that they can move up there, but do they really want to move up there? Hmm, not really. Um, it's not even really worth the spiders while taking anything to add. It's really about getting bodies on Tundra. So let's say they're going to both skip Abundance. We're going to move to Wasteland to remove elements. So water and grass are up to get removed. Water is spiders and there is no water. So nobody cares. Uh, let's see. Grass, the monkeys definitely care about. So the monkeys are going to keep grass from dropping off because they need those two. Depletion to remove from the earth completely. Now, spiders don't care about the meat being removed because it can't fall off their card. They can fall off the monkey's card though. So, or not so much falling off the card, sorry, falling off the earth completely. Um, that would not be good for any of them. It would certainly be bad for the spiders. And unfortunately for the spiders, the monkeys go first. So the monkeys could pull that dick move where they just let it drop off. They might. 
Uh, glaciation. Spiders already grabbed it. Uh, we will say that the monkeys are going to go for it next. Speciation to add to the earth. Um, monkeys, monkeys could go for speciation. There's only two turns, this turn and the next turn left. So it's kind of all about getting bodies on the tundra. The only thing is that I'll, these kind of tiles where you could pick both tundra have got nothing there to spread out from. Uh, same idea here. Hmm, they'd have to spread it from there to get some bodies here. Okay, they're going to pick the wheat and spread it from there. Spiders. Hmm, they could pick... Ooh, it's a bit risky, but they could pick the grass and spread into here and then here. Hmm, that's a tricky one. Right, the spiders are going to risk it. They're going to risk it. What the hell? Um, Wanderlust to add a tile and an element. I would think that they will say, nah, stuff that. Because they only have two pawns left each. And inevitably they're going to want to do domination to get points. And also both of them doing domination effectively forces the end of the game next time because we need to bring in two new cards. So migration. Migration, competition and domination. So we know that both are going to do domination. So... I'm just going to place them ahead. Will they do migration or competition? I would think migration is the best bet for both to move across. So we will see how that goes. Could go horribly, horribly wrong, but we'll see. Nobody does competition. Spiders will still get their free shot at one monkey somewhere. Right, huh. back to the start. Adaption. Add an element to the display. So, monkeys get to go first and they were gonna do grass. So, they're gonna take the grass element. Uh, that leaves uh, the spiders to choose between sun, water and wheat. They already have sun and water. They could have two of one of those or they could bring in wheat which would get them some points for some domination here and there. Hmm. There's, let's see some sun here a bit there there's no water so there's no point in taking water so we can rule out water completely they could take sun which would help them get extra domination points here and here or they could go for wheat which is a new one which would get them points here and here and here I think they would go for the wheat let's give them the wheat right Regression to stop something falling off the display. Monkeys. Monkeys need to pick between wheat, uh, grubs and sun. And two of those are part of the spiders. Grubs, the spiders keep the grubs no matter what. So, will they pick... There's no point in them picking meat because the meat can't come off the spider card anyway. So it's going to have to be between sun and wheat. 
both of which are in the monkey's card, both of which are in the spider's card. Ooh. Bear in mind the spider's only just got wheat right there. So I don't know. What will, what would the spiders pick? Or the monkeys pick? Should they lose sun or lose wheat? There's three, four sun there. Um a couple of sun on that side as well. Forgot about them. Uh there's three wheat there. If they lose the wheat, they lose domination there, certainly. And in some of the other ones. Ooh. Hmm. They might be better losing sun. Because those two sun don't affect them. That doesn't affect them. Those three kind of affect them, but not as badly as these three would. Hmm. We'll say they're going to have to give up. They're going to have to give up sun. They're going to keep the wheat. And sun is going to drop off. Hmm. Now I'm having second thoughts. Oh no. No. Hmm. Yeah, I think they're going to have to keep wheat and the sun is going to go. So the monkeys are going to keep the wheat on the cards. Spiders. Spiders are next. They don't care about the grubs, can't come off their card. The sun can come off their card. And the meat is not on their card. So they're going to have to save the sun. They're going to have to. And it kind of means that neither of them are affected. Uh, no, sorry, the monkeys are affected by it. They lose the grub. Ah, right, so we have grubs and meat in regression. So anyone with meat or grubs, not part of the card, loses it, which is this one. So the monkeys lose their grub. Right, abundance. That was, uh, nobody picked that. Wasteland, uh, elements to remove. That was the spiders picked that. They wanted to keep water. Uh, which means that grass would vanish from the tundra tiles. Which would not be good for the monkeys. Oops, can take that back. Uh, so, and again I'm assuming that three water is equivalent to one water. It'd be crazy if you save one and there's still two left and, you know. So, wasteland. Remove elements from tundra tiles. Spiders are going to save the water. So, again, as I say, I'm assuming that you save one water, you save all the water, which means that grass comes off tundra tiles, which is one there, one there, and that one doesn't count. So, all in all, Bad for the spiders, eh, for the monkeys. Uh, depletion, to remove an element, the monkeys have skipped in. Now, this is where they could pull their move, and monkeys being monkeys would do it. I believe they would do it. Um, so the monkeys are going to take the pawn back and not pick anything. So, grubs will be removed from the earth. So all of the grubs come off. Which doesn't affect the monkeys because they don't have the grubs anymore. So it's all going swings and roundabouts. Right, glaciation. 
convert an air tile. Right, before I do that, it's time to check and see if anybody is still in any sort of domination. Because uh, there's loads of elements missing. So, uh, we have two for the monkeys, three for the monkeys. So, yep, they're still in charge. Uh, they're on, only ones there, only ones there. Uh, there's only a sun there, so that's still a draw. Here we have, they're still in charge, they're still in charge. This one, we have two, three, four for the monkeys. And the spiders have one. So, monkeys are in charge there as well. Uh, this one, monkeys, this one, it would be one, two, three, that one would be a draw then. Because both have wheat and sun, yeah. Spiders, uh, spiders, nothing, nothing, right. Didn't change that much right enough, I thought it would have. Uh, right, so spiders are going to do glaciation. And monkeys move up, they're going to do it next. Right. It's going to have to be here or here to get points. Here is the obvious one because there is three tundra tiles to get very much points. So, I would reckon they're going to have to do that. So let me check though, I'm assuming they can pick any tile, just in case. Uh, yeah, I, don't, I was just kind of dubious thinking that maybe you had to have one of your species on the tile you're going to change, but you don't. Uh, okay, so, Tundra tile. We are going to remove all of these guys temporarily. Thundertail goes there. And only one of each goes back, which is only one monkey. The other ones are four. Back to the gene pool. So there's three tiles, six points to spiders. So they go from 77 to 83. Right, done. Uh, let's see. Done that, moved that back. Okay, uh, speciation. Add to the earth. This is where it all goes kind of horribly wrong as well. The monkeys are going to go first. They're going to go from, uh, I think it was that one, to go into these two tiles. Um, but I'm kind of thinking they would get more points or more species on the board if they went jungle and forest. We get three, three, one you would get three, four, one. So maybe going from this one's a better idea rather than that one, because you get one, one, three. Okay, we're going to go with that then. Right, we're going to go with uh, this element. So they're going to get one, three in the forest, and, oops, four in wetland. Monkeys piling in there. Done. Now, this is where it's all gone very peat tong for the spiders because they picked grass, which was going to be up here. But now the only grass one that's left is here. So they've only got these two tiles. They're going to have to pick that then. Better than nothing. Forest gets them three. And wetland gets them 
four. Which is none too bad, but yeah, there's still no dominant. Right. Okay. That's speciation done. Uh, next is migration. We skipped wanderlust and that kind of stuff. Migration. Monkeys, they get to move seven. So let's see. They can move from here to here, um, here to there, and then they could move in there, in there. So that would kind of get them shunting across. Uh, let's see, okay, we'll go for that. If they move three into there, then this becomes a draw. They can then move two into there. Well, they move two into there and then move two into there. So they've kind of moved over a bit. It's still dominant there and it's still a draw in that. It's a draw in there and a draw in there. Right, seven, done. Uh, spiders get to move six. And they're probably going to have to do a similar thing. Um, they would have to move two and then see it could move two to there before and then two from there to there and that would be the six bit of a long shortcut but yeah it works uh, so this one also becomes a draw this one also becomes a draw This one is still spider territory, I think. Yep. This one is one, two, three, four for the monkeys, only three for the spiders, so that one's still monkeys. Right. Okay. Migration done. Check. Competition the spiders get to pick anywhere and bump off a monkey. Uh, inevitably it's going to have to be one of these two to get them off tundra so we will pick th this one right so that's done domination for domination we are going to pick a tail so we've got monkeys first they're going to have to pick a tail they're on and have the most species in. Uh, right. Let's see. Hmm. Select a tail. Has to have the most species. It's going to have to get them some juicy points. So that's no good. That's no good to them. That's going to get them five. That would get them eight. So it's going to have to be that one. It's going to have to be that one. Uh, right. They're going to get eight points, which will take them to absolutely smack bang on 100 points. So I shall put a marker on 100 and take them back to zero. That's their eight points. And they have to do a card. Let's see. Perform an immediate glaciation action. This ice sheet. Hmm. That wouldn't really work in their favour. Because 
it's only going to bump off most of theirs there. They don't really have a good space. Hmm. Okay, catastrophe. Select a tile and eliminate all but one species there. Eliminate one species on each adjacent tile. Ooh. Right, okay. They could do that somewhere. Let's have a look. Select a tile. Eliminate all but one species, which would obviously be themselves. And eliminate one species on each adjacent tile. So they could effectively use that to just brutally eliminate and massacre spiders. If they picked this one, they would eliminate all but one species, so they would only leave the monkeys. Then they would eliminate one species on each adjacent tile, which would technically be all of these. Hmm. Now, the only thing is, I don't know if that means eliminate one species, as in eliminate one, or do you eliminate the entire species of spiders? I would have to look that up. Uh, biomass. Eliminate one species on each tile containing more species than elements. Hmm. That would certainly cover these tiles. A couple over there. Eliminate one species. Again, I would have to check because is it talking about a whole species of animal or just one cube? Right. Time to have a quick look in the book. Let's see. That was Catastrophe was the first one. Uh, let's see. There's also that player's choice as to what, which single species to remove from adjacent tiles. Hmm. Right, it seems to mean one cube from what I can gather. Because it mentions at the end, if the dominant player is the sole occupant of an adjacent tile, he will have to eliminate one of his own animal species there. So as in one cube. So that would seem to mean that if you did catastrophe on that hex, you'd have to eliminate all of those cubes except one. Because it says eliminate all but one species. That's one species, that cube. Biomass, where was that? Biomass, biomass, where is it? Eliminate one species in each tile, containing more species than elements. Uh, you'd have to end up potentially eliminating your own people if it came to it. No, nope, that's not too great. Cold snap. Each opposing animal must eliminate one of its own species on every tundra tile. Ooh. Eco diversity. Gain one victory point for each element disc on Earth that matches an element type on your animal. Nah, yeah, they're not really going to be interested in that. Right, that's tricky. They're probably going to have to do a catastrophe or a biomass, I would think. Failing that, they're going to have to pull off a cold snap where the spiders would have to remove one spider in each tundra tile. And really, it all comes down to tundra tiles. So I think they would go for cold snap. Being honest, I think they would. Because if they go for cold snap, each opposing animal, monk, uh, the spiders in this case, must eliminate one of its own species on every tundra tile. 
So one spider has to go from each tundra tile. Two, three, four, five. Five spiders gone. Right. Cold snap. Cold snap is done. Right, so we have we picked the tile, they've got the points, they've done the card, and their domination is done. And that leaves spiders. Spiders have to pick a card. Now, again, they could pick Catastrophe. Select the tile, eliminate all but one and eliminate one on each adjacent tile. They could pull it off in there, which would mean these guys would all get bumped off, and then these monkeys would get bumped, or one on those tiles would get bumped. Hmm. That would be about their best bet. So, I think spiders are going to think, well, you're going to play that game, we're going to go for the catastrophe then. Screw it. They're going to sacrifice a spider, eliminate all but one species, which is done, and then eliminate one species on each adjacent tile. So it's going to be one on there, one on there, one there, one there, and one there. I hope that's what the card means and not just wiping everything out completely. That would be horrible. Um, oh, and they've got to pick a tile. I nearly forgot. Um, but that's the card done. And that can go and that can go. And we can bring these in. But they've still got to pick a tile um, to get points on. Which is inevitably going to be this one. There was only one monkey on there anyway, so they've got the most species. Nine points. They have, where are we? 83 they have. So I'll take them to... 92 so they've got nine points for that and that was the card they went for the catastrophe right time for a reset again okay extinction uh, eliminate endangered species that guy for a start but the monkeys get their uh, special move uh, they can both live there both live there and there that's okay that one is okay for the spiders because of the, the wheat uh, that one's okay that one they're okay, that one they are okay for the sun, and this one's okay for the wheat and the sun. So, only that guy would have got made extinct, but yet again, he manages to stay because of the special move. Right, survival player with the most species in the tundra tiles, bonus victory points, Gets the survival card. So we have 1, 2, 3, 7, 10, 13. So pff, yeah, again, monkeys, they win. They get to keep the survival card. And they are on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 tundra tiles, which is 15 points. Holy crap. So they've got 115 points. 
Okay, this may be a foregone conclusion. Okay, so go to the victory points and done that. Right, one, two, three, four, five tiles. Yep. Okay, and refill. Uh, take those off. Take that one off. Those two off. Slide that down, slide them down, slide them down. Right, so. Battle Max. Right. Adaption is going to be water, grubs, wheat, and water. Abundance will be water, wheat, and grass. Wander lost. Sun, meat, meat, and sun. Oh. oh well. Right. That is how it looks at the end of turn seven. I nearly forgot what turn it was. But the next new card is Blight. Select a tile, remove all but one element from that tile. And the last one would be the Ice Age card. So whoever picks the Ice Age card, that causes and triggers the end of the game. So, yeah, guess which card the monkeys are going to pick. Right, that is it for turn 7. I shall see you for turn 8, the big finale.